Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Commerce, International Trade, Investment, Enterprise Development and Consumer Affairs, Ms. Sophia Henry, Investing Lucia CEO, Mr. Roderick Cherry, and members of Investing Lucia's Board of Directors, members of the task force, and boost key partners. Most importantly, the seven finalists of the National Idea Pitch Competition, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone joining us on NTN Live and social media, good morning. Welcome to the official closing ceremony for the National Idea Pitch Competition. I am your host for this morning, Claudia McDowell. The competition was launched in January of this year and seven finalists earned their spot in a program which would help develop their idea into a business. At the end of the business development program, the finalists were now ready to pitch their fully developed idea to a panel of judges to win access to more resources, including seed funding. The finals took place on Monday, this Monday, April 26, 2021 at the NTN studios. And now that the judges have thoroughly deliberated, we are here to celebrate the winners. But first, we like to do things a little differently at Invest in Lucia. So we're going to start the ceremony with a vote of thanks of sorts. Now, if you've never been called by our first speaker, you either not supposed to be here or he hasn't saved your number yet. Allow me to welcome the man behind the magic and the person without which I'm sure none of us, none of this would be happening. The Boost Program Coordinator, Mr. Dinesh Daswani. Good morning, everyone. I would like to adopt protocol that's been already established. My name is Dinesh Daswani, and my job this morning is to welcome you to all to today's closing and award ceremony of the National Idea Pitch Competition. Here, we will reward the exceptional work of which seven finalists have put together over the past two months. I am the program coordinator for Boost, which has spearheaded the National Idea Pitch Competition alongside other stakeholders. On behalf of the entire Boost team and its task force, Invest in Lucia, our seven finalists, I want to thank you. We are pleased that you can take the time out to celebrate and support these national finalists. Everyone faces challenge in their daily lives. At some point, and across the globe, there's always a class of imaginative and innovative people who seek to make some of these challenges less cumbersome and eliminate them completely. That class is our society entrepreneurs. And today, I'm proud to say we have seven of the most creative with us. Boost would like to thank them all as well for taking the leap of courage and deciding to start their business through our competition. The National Idea Pitch Competition in Jan started in January 2021 to simulate budding entrepreneurs into doing what they do best, creating innovative ideas to solve problems. Through the competition, Boost aided the developing these very ideas into functional businesses, which will meet the challenges of our society. We received over 60 applications during the first round of this competition, which included transformative ideas in almost every major economic sector. These applications were judged by a very capable panel of experienced entrepreneurs in the field and we're narrowed down to seven finalists which are here with us today. Then they were entered to a business development program, which majority of the sessions were done virtually due to our new normal. And these sessions were provided by both private and public sectors in the business development um, field. Many of them are represented here today and truly stepped up and provided our finalists with the necessary tools and vital information needed for business success despite the limitations of a virtual environment. Boost would like to immensely thank, immensely thank every single business development organization for their time and efforts towards the finalists. As part of the business develop program, the finalists also got to meet experienced mentors on a one-on-one -on -one basis. During these meetings, they were able to seek valuable answers to many burning questions review their business strategies, and practice their pitches. These sessions were immensely helpful to all of them to reach achieve specific goals. 
Boos would like to generally thank each mentor for the time and efforts given. Your mentorship has been an invaluable inspiration to many of our finalists, and you have changed lives. Today, we are here to celebrate the growth and achievements made by our seven finalists, as I said before. Although we are awarding winners today, every team has already been rewarded with valuable educational opportunities and experiences. This will not be possible without our partners and sponsors who met the goal to create such opportunities. All right. You have created an avenue for continued growth and development for these innovative ideas, which is priceless. To our strategic and community partners, Startup Space, Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, the Small Business Development Center, Export St. Lucia, Chitech, Penny Pinch, the St. Lucia Development Bank, the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, the St. Lucia Bureau of Standards, Adana Consulting, the Chamber of Commerce, and by extension, the Youth St. Lucia Youth Business Trust, and the team at Invest St. Lucia. You make the dreams of these imaginative entrepreneurs a reality. To our many knowledgeable judges who took their time out to assess these presentations last Monday, we truly are grateful for your efforts. Thank you for all choose thank you for all thank you all sorry for choosing to be part of this historical event. Alone we can do so little. Together we can do so much. A quote by the remarkable Helen Keller. This quote stands true to the very core of what Boost stands for and the National IJ Pitch Competition. And I'll leave you with one word that would sum up that, unity. If unity for both public and private sectors, entities, mentors, community partners, and willing individuals, we were able to create a new avenue for innovative and imaginative solutions to generate wealth, to provide them for the betterment of the communities, to build a stronger environment for entrepreneurship and to develop a new culture of collaboration and networking. This would indeed boost our fair Helen, our island home, and our country. Thank you. Thank you, Dinesh, for your remarks. Please allow me to also welcome Mr. Miguel Trim from UNDP. He's the deputy team leader of Carry Secure. Um, Dinesh said thank you for many people. However, I want to just list the seven finalists for everybody here and everybody listening to know who was competing for the top prize. We have Tropical Kayak Adventures, Check-In, Real 3D Printing, Ed Intelligent, Caribbean City, 360 and Bioganics. Um, they are represented here today in the orange shirts. I think we have one or two blue ones. Okay, um, our next speaker is, he served as a head judge on the panel for the finals of the National Idea Pitch Competition on Monday. He is Mr. Jody Budu, and he's also the Deputy Chairman for the Board of Directors of Invest in Lucia. He is a co-founder and director of the business development of business development at Avance, a boutique deal structuring and project finance consultancy in St. Lucia. He is also a general partner at Aspire Fund Management Company, a fund management company, a fund management and private equity investment company based in Trinidad. His latest venture has been in Penny Pinch Incorporated, St. Lucia's only licensed mobile digital wallet and loyalty solutions platform. He is the director and a seed investor. He led the Boost Steering Committee as the chairman during the research consultancy and launch stages of the incubator and accelerator program. Now, please allow me to welcome Mr. Jody Budu to the podium. Morning, everyone. Please permit me to adopt the protocol already established. I'd like to thank um, everybody for attending this morning. Welcome to anyone who's watching at home as well. This 
has been a pretty, it's been a long haul for Invest in Lucia. Um, I remember it had to have been about three or four years ago. The concept of uh, an uh, incubator and accelerator program was introduced um, from management to the board of Invest in Lucia. It, it was something that I have a particular passion for. Um, that is startups and small business and investing. Um, so, you know, I kind of put up my hands and said, well, let me lead it, you know. Um, somebody has to take ownership of it because it had been a long time coming. Something had been proposed back in 2010 um, and for one reason or another, it didn't gain traction. So, you know, as with anything else, unless somebody takes ownership of something, it, it, it really you know, it, it, it might not happen. So I jumped in and we put a team together. Dave Headley was appointed as the program coordinator. Um, and the CEO of Investment Lucia, Roderick Cherry, oversaw it. Um, yes, I was the, the, the chair of the steering committee, um, mainly from a, a policy standpoint and just making sure they get the resources they needed. But, you know, I have to tip my hats off to the CEO and to Dave for really pushing through Boost. Um, so, you know, a few years later, um, a lot of work went into it and voila, we had Boost. Now, Boost is, is, is at its infancy stages. So it's, a, it's an entire ecosystem of entrepreneurship and startup development that we want to build. But there has to be a spark. Um, and Invest in Lucia cannot do everything on its own. All the participants in Boost have to give positive feedback, great energy, give time and resources to make not just Boost a success, but the whole entrepreneurship ecosystem in St. Lucia. It's a success that's dependent on all the players. Um, so you guys were here today. It takes mentors, it takes professional services, it takes seed investors. It takes, um, you know, the likes of, of SLDB, all the other government agencies that seem to have been operating in silos at, at one point in the past. We want to bring it together under one nucleus, which is Boost. So Dinesh was, was hired um, to lead the charge with Boost um, in many respects. And we came up with the national idea um, pitch competition. I'm sure a lot of you have seen pitch competitions before where people have either uh, an MVP or they're already in the, the revenue stages of their business and they're looking to raise further capital. Um, so they'll be pitching for equity or um, they'll be pitching to give equity rather in exchange for capital. But there is this gap there. How do you actually get to that stage where you're pitching for equity? Um, I have seen in the past that people simply weren't ready at that stage and they've presented their concepts at that stage. And you know, it, it, it kind of got shot down. But with the national idea pitch competition, it's a bit different. So it is getting an idea that you have ready almost packaging it properly as a business case and then presenting it to, uh, to, to, to a panel which would say, you know what, I, we, we really like your concept. Um, however, probably you need to do a few things differently or maybe you are ready to get to that pitch stage. So it's getting you ready to face the world um, because it's tough out there. There's a lot of disappointments with startups when they get to the pitching stage. And, you know, you have to have that passion and that grit to stick with it if you don't make it the first time. So with the National Idea Pitch Competition, um, I mean, we've appealed to the Executive Committee at Invest in Lucia to ensure that through the board that the National Idea Pitch Competition is going to be an annual event. Um, we see a lot of merit in it. Um, I really enjoyed being part of it. I think the mentors and all the other judges and the staff enjoy um, being part of the National Idea Pitch Competition and, and, and seeing 
the sorts of seeds that it can plant in society from very early because this is what it's really about is about planting seeds my hope is that everybody who participated in the national idea pitch competition would achieve a change of mindset of sorts where you get fired up about startups and startup investing and entrepreneurship and leadership and you can now pass that on that 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 newfound culture that cultural evolution in entrepreneurship in Saint Lucia. you can pass it on to those around you and, and and pass it on to your children because you know a lot of you guys are, are are pretty young but eventually you know you're gonna settle down and and you're gonna have kids and have a family um, and it's this at this point now we need to start planting seeds in your head so that you can plant the seeds in your kids heads and the next generation so if you if you will take a look at um, the need for curriculum change and and the need to change um, you know certain aspects of of the education system in St. Lucia this is not something where you're going to see the fruits over five years you're going to see the fruits bearing in the next generation so that's the way we have to look at entrepreneurship um, in St. Lucia right now um, I saw a lot of wonderful ideas everybody who presented had great ideas you know some of them you have to kind of go back to the drawing board a bit because they may have been a little too ambitious but there are some nuggets in there that can really really work well so I'd like to thank um, everybody who, who, who gave their pitches um, it was fun it was very informative best of luck to all the participants and again I'd like to thank the boost team for putting on you know the first of many national idea pitch competitions thank you thank you mr buru for your remarks um we moving straight ahead into our next item on the agenda mr barry said of fincasa capital is our next speaker and his presence today is very special in many ways Boost introduced an entrepreneurship seed capital fund to provide startups and new ventures the opportunity to receive seed capital towards financing its first steps, such as market research and implementation, first time utility setups and product or service development or production. Fincasa Capital is one of the first donors to the fund and today's winners will be receiving some of the prizes through the fund. Mr. Said, welcome and thank you for joining us via Zoom. Yeah. I want to congratulate to the team boost for, for taking out such an amazing uh, step to, in order to build the entrepreneur and startups of uh, St. Lucia. I'm honored to be uh, participating at uh, the national competition here today. Uh, we are based in uh, Dubai. We are a venture capital based in Dubai. Uh, we invest in various uh, seeds right from seed capital from 100,000 to up to the 50 million uh, dollars what we have made the last investment last year and uh, I would like to support with with, uh, with all the startups that have participated today and would like to uh, encourage to see uh, to see to, to 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 develop themselves from from this space to go globally whereby we play an important part uh, to accelerate and give market access to the winners and the startups from from Boost to Dubai and from Dubai take those startups globally. So we would like to work very uh, cooperatively with the coming time in, in order to give a lot of support in terms of funding, in terms of market access, in terms of acceleration, uh, bringing a lot of connects. Uh, so this is what we are looking to, to achieve together with uh, Team Boost and looking forward uh, for a more collaboration. Thank you. Thank, 
Thank you, Mr. Said, and thank you for joining us. Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? Thank you, Mr. Said, and thank you for joining us all the way from Dubai. We are thankful for your team and the dedication from you and Finn Casa Capital. Now, I will invite Sajiko to share a few words briefly as one of the main sponsors of the NIPC. Sajiko is also the first donor to the Entrepreneurship Seed Capital Fund from Boost. Welcome, Mr. Sherlan Leo. He is Sajiko's head of sales. He is also joining us on Zoom. It is said that the best way to predict the future is to create it. And I think this boost national idea pitch competition is doing just that allowing solution um, young entrepreneurs an opportunity to create a, a favorable future. The subject for our vision um, is to improve the lives of the people in our community. And we think that by partnering with Invest Solution, that's exactly what we do, allowing entrepreneurs the opportunity to contribute to their own lives and to the lives of their own solutions and to the world at large. And so I want to encourage all of the, all of the participants to keep pushing, to keep creating the future, the desired future. I want to again thank Invest Solution for this lovely initiative and to let us all know today that um, Sajiko remains committed to the participants. If you reach out to us, and of course, the Invest Solution um, on this post um, initiative, which I know is going to be continued in the, up in the upcoming months to, to brighten the lives of solutions and all the participants and all the people that come in contact with you. So, again, Sajiko is indeed honored to be part of this this project and we look forward to continued partnership with you guys so much. Thank you so much guys. Good luck guys with your ideas. Thank you, Mr. Leo, and to the team at Sajiko who expressed their commitment to this project from day one. Now, I will welcome Mr. Leslie Collimore, who is thankfully here with us today. He is the principal consultant of Advanced Intellectual Methods, and he will deliver a few brief remarks about his company's sponsorship to the NIPC. morning, everyone. Um, I wasn't sure that I'd be making any remarks, but um, grateful for the opportunity. Um, I, I think I'd like to thank off the Investor Nusha team, Boost, all the supporting partners for this initiative. I think that entrepreneurship is something that any growing small island developing state is the nucleus of how we develop and how we go forward. And for us, as a small company ourselves, it's important for us to give back and to lead the new generation of entrepreneurs. So our, our input in terms of judging, mentorship, and also business support was important here. So at Advanced Intellectual Method, we feel that for these young entrepreneurs to go forward, we needed to help tangibly. So we will be giving digital support in terms of digital marketing services, branding, advocacy, brand development, e-commerce services, web development. So again, hats off to everyone. Good luck and thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, Mr. Colin Moore. Um, We've had a few speakers this morning, but I'm not sure how much attention any of them got from our finalists because they went for a 
an intensive and rigorous six-week business development program. They probably did not sleep on Sunday night trying to prepare for the pitch on Monday, and I'm sure they haven't gotten a wink during a suspenseful, suspenseful, suspenseful sorry, day yesterday. There has been a, lo a whole lot of speeches this morning, but just please allow me to talk a little bit more as I tell you what the prizes are. So the first place winner will be getting $10,000 worth of cash and prizes. That includes $6,000 worth of cash from the Entrepreneurship Seed Capital Fund, $800 worth of marketing and communication services, one tablet worth $600, an email blast campaign worth $650, a Google ad revenue campaign worth $450, fast track access to the finals of the Entrepreneurship World Cup St. Lucia Leg, and a feature in Dazzle Magazine as a first place winner worth about $1,500. Our second place winner will be receiving $4,000 worth of cash and prizes. This includes $2,500 worth of cash from the fund, $750 worth of marketing and communication services, about $250 worth of Google ad revenue campaign, fast track access to the finals of the EWC, that's the Entrepreneurship World Cup, St. Lucia Leg, and a feature in Dazzle Magazine as a second place winner worth about $500. Our third place winner will be receiving $2,500 worth of cash and prizes. This includes $1,500 worth of cash from the Entrepreneurship Seed Capital Fund, about $400 worth of marketing and communication services, $100 worth in the Google Ads revenue campaign, fast track access to the EWC, and a feature in Dazzle Magazine worth about $500. So, Without further ado, it's time to find out who the third place winner is. This morning I told you all how much Dinesh has done for Boost and he got me little envelopes. So I will be opening the third place envelope right now. So our third place winner is, is everybody ready? Are the finalists ready? No? It is Bioganics, who is represented by Kyle Nicholas this morning. The prize will be presented by Mr. Dinesh Daswani. Bioganics received 332 points from the judges with only a 2.5 gap between the second place winner from the second place winner. Okay, I said there was a lot of talking this morning, but I didn't promise that it would end now. Before we announce the second place winner, I will be calling on Mr. Dave Headley, who will be announcing a special partnership that Invest in Lucia and Boost has been developing with the UNDP. So now I invite Mr. Dave Headley to the podium. Um, pleasant good morning. I would like to adopt the protocol already established. Um, today we have reached a, another milestone. However, let me give you a quick background as to how we got here. 
Uh, once Boost launched, we engaged several stakeholders on various initiatives on how to further improve and enhance the business environment for existing and upcoming entrepreneurs in St. Lucia. Invest in Lucia and Boost by extension, we're fortunate to have had previous talks with uh, the, UND, the UNDP representative, Mr. Miguel Trim, who is the deputy team leader for Kari Secure, on developing an interactive digital map of St. Lucia's entrepreneurship ecosystem. Uh, the first of this partnership was the eFutures, a set of uh, practical guides to help businesses retool and discover new ways to reach customers during the COVID-19 pandemic. These seven practical guides were made available to over 450 persons registered to the Boost platform as well as pers persons visiting the, the St. Lucia Boost website. Uh, this was followed by the interactive digital map of St. Lucia's entrepreneurship ecosystem exercise. And once the concept was presented to the UNDP team, the, um, they endorsed it and funded the entire exercise. Um, the lead consultant, Mr. Peter Lord, undertook the initial research on identifying the key agencies and organizations in the business environment that would facilitate entrepreneurs through the developmental journey. The information was then gathered and then was passed on to the second consultant, Mr. Jade Hutchinson from Make, to transform that data into a digital platform uh, to basically help to create what we call St. Lucia Digital Entrepreneurship Ecosystem Directory. This is a resource tool for startups and existing entrepreneurs to identify the key agencies and companies they can reach out to for business support based on the developmental stages they are at in the entrepreneurship journey. As a result of undertaking this exercise, we have seen additional opportunities to develop this digital tool to further enhance the business ecosystem in St. Lucia, something we intend to do with engaging other key stakeholders and partners. Invest St. Lucia, and by extension, the government of St. Lucia, has recognized the impact of micro, small, and medium enterprises. Uh, sorry about that. Invest St. Lucia, and by extension, the government of St. Lucia has recognized the impact of micro, small, and medium enterprises have on a small economy like St. Lucia. And with initiatives like this, we strongly believe in the ongoing development of the business environment to encourage a contagious entrepreneurship and innovative culture in St. Lucia. I know I have said it many times before, but a big thank you goes out to the entire UNDP, the entire UNDP, Barbados, and the Eastern Caribbean team with specific recognition for, of Mr. Miguel Trim, uh, who is the deputy team leader of, of Carry Secure. Mr. Miguel Guerrero, Eastern Caribbean Support Officer. And of course, a special thanks to Ms. Jordana Tenenbaum, who is the Head of Solutions Mapping at UNDP for efforts in enlightening the general public on the eFutures guides. With this being said, I would now like to invite Mr. Miguel Trim to the podium to give a few brief remarks. Um, thank you, Dave. Uh, I'd like to adopt the established protocol and wish everyone here today and listening online a pleasant good morning. First of all, congratulations to all the, the winners of the pitch competition and the participants. I think in listening to the videos earlier, uh, we've seen some, some great ideas presented and, and soon to be awarded. And I'm really excited to see how these businesses come to life. Uh, thank you for having me here this morning to highlight some of the work of UNDP, Barbados, and the Eastern Caribbean, and the work we're doing more specifically to support MSMEs in retooling and recovering in the midst of this global pandemic. The United Nations Development Program partners with people at all levels of society to help build nations that can withstand crisis 
and drive and sustain the kind of growth that improves the quality of life of everyone. UNDP Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean aims to create an enabling environment for sustainable development to help em empower lives and build resilient nations, supporting countries in the region in meeting regional commitments and internationally agreed goals, including the Sustainable Development Goals. As we navigate this unprecedented global health crisis, one that is spreading human suffering, infecting the global economy, and appending people's lives, we appreciate the vital role that micro, small, and medium enterprises, MSMEs, and entrepreneurs play in nation's overall production networks, that they are indeed core to the economic growth of developing countries such as St. Lucia and critical to efforts to maintain lives and livelihoods. In recognition of this, UNDP, Barbados, and the Eastern Caribbean is focusing on supporting economic transformation and recovery for MSMEs through knowledge transfer. And we are happy to partner with Boost in helping small business owners to access this very useful information in two ways. Firstly, the St. Lucia Digital Entrepreneurship Ecosystem Platform is a resource tool for startups and existing entrepreneurs to identify the agencies and companies they can reach out to for business support based on the developmental stages they are at in their journey. This platform is geared towards MSMEs and entrepreneurs to chart their way through this sometimes confusing environment and streamline their search for information and resources. Since some of the innovative ideas from the finalists, um, I'm sorry, seeing some of the innovative ideas from the finalists, we do hope that this ecosystem platform can be helpful to some of them in taking their ideas to the next level. In our discussions, we've also highlighted the potential for scaling up the platform, collaborating with other business support agencies and NGOs, so we're really optimistic about the future. Secondly, the eFuture Digital Guides, which are also available on the Boost platform. We've all recognized that COVID-19 has accelerated the transition towards the digital economy, led companies to use um, digital solutions and to digitize some aspects of their operations to protect their businesses, employees, and customers and clients. Whether it's small businesses and retailers turning to WhatsApp, social media, or other messaging services to reach their customers or including online ordering and delivery options in their operations or following more strict health and safety protocols in preparing and delivering their goods and service offerings. What we and UNDP have realized is that new modes of operation are needed to ensure that businesses could continue operating during the pandemic. However, this was really uncharted territory for the majority of MSMEs in the Eastern Caribbean. In response to this, we have created the UNDP eFuture Guides, a set of seven easy to follow guides accompanied by videos that offer strategic steps to help businesses retool and rediscover new ways to reach customers. The guides include a range of topics from finances to marketing and promotion to safety and security and environmental practices. They are also accompanied by a Caribbean digital skills e-learning course, the key, your digital business toolkit, which supports retraining for income generation and provides a free introduction to over 12 no or low cost software tools to build MSME capacity for digital businesses. Also, as we're on the topic of opportunities, for those interested, please stay tuned to the UNDP Barbados Twitter page the handle is at UNDP Barbados for information on the Future Tourism project Program. Futurism is an upcoming project that aims to technically and financially support MSMEs that are directly or indirectly linked to the tourism sector or have been significantly impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. An open call for MSMEs working within the tourism sector to register in an MSME database will go out in the next few days for this program. So tune into the, sp the Twitter space for more details. Knowledge is power. And that's one constant that has not changed even in the pandemic. As UNDP continues to help empower lives and build resilient nations, 
we want to encourage MSMEs and entrepreneurs in St. Lucia to take advantage of all these excellent resources and opportunities that offer insights to improve your businesses and connect with the entrepreneurship ecosystem in St. Lucia and beyond. I'd also like to encourage you to share them with others interested in entrepreneurship and, and the business space as more people involved and engaged in business activities translates into economic growth and entrepreneurship culture and more of the innovative mindset we need to recover, build back better and prepare ourselves for the post-pandemic global realities. Thank you once again to Boost, Dinesh, Dave and the team at ISL for your collaboration and partnership. And we look forward to great things from the Boost Accelerator the digital entrepreneurship ecosystem platform, and more of what we're seeing today with these excellent ideas for the MSME space. Thank you. Um, so right now, we're just gonna do a quick demo of the, uh, the digital entrepreneurship ecosystem directory. Um, the URL is, is doingbusinesslu.com, so we encourage persons to, to go online and check it out. Um, just remember, with all the additional resources, there are further opportunities to add um, some additional functionalities, but for sure, persons who are starting off or who really don't know where to go for information, um, you could, there are some search features you can use with regards to whether it be safety, um, and once you filter that down through, it, sh it should populate and give you some relevant information. Um, another key resource, yeah, for, so in this instance, you would populate uh, in terms of insurance. And of course, one of our key partners there could provide all the relevant information you need. Another key resource is the Youth uh, Equity Fund. Um, a lot of persons we know challenges with the startups and young entrepreneurs is, is funding. And of course, we have the SLDB, who is one of our strategic partners as well in this initiative. Um, there are many other resources on there, so we encourage uh, persons listening, our young startups or potential entrepreneurs, to take advantage of this additional re resource, and also to, to stay tuned to follow both uh, social media sites and information as we add additional resources to this platform. Thank you, Dave and Mr. Trim. I hope the finalists forgive me for prolonging the results a bit longer, but this platform, Doing Business SLU, is meant for you, as well as all the entrepreneurs who are watching us right now and anybody who needs access to information, such as what's available in the directory. Now, I will invite Mr. Roderick Cherry, as well as Mr. Dinesh Daswani, to present our finalists with their certificates of participation in the National Idea Pitch Competition. So I'd like to call on Ed Telligent first to receive the certificate of participation from Next, we have real 3D printing. And then bioorganics. Mm -hmm. 
Tropical kayaking adventures. Tropical kayak adventures, sorry. Check in. Caribbean city. Caribbean city yeah. And three sixty. Okay, so our guests were really quiet during this presentation. So I hope that <laughs> I hope that when I'm about to announce a second place winner, you're not as quiet. Um, a reminder that the second place winner is receiving four hundred four thousand dollars worth of cash and prizes. So I have my little envelope again. Thanks, Dinesh. Our second place winner is 360. She, um, 360 is represented by Kissia Peter today. And she scored 334.5 points from the judges. So now, please allow me to invite Permanent Secretary Ms. Sophia Henry on behalf of the Minister for Commerce to present the first place check to the first place winner. Now, finally, for a prize worth $10,000 of funding and assistance, the finalists that the judges found the most innovative and creative and sustainable, the business idea which they think will change this country we're going to announce the first place winner, but let me open my envelope. Anybody want to do a drum roll? We have the, yes, thank you, thank you. The first place winner is Real 3D Printing. Real 3D printing is represented by Coyote sorry, James. He is the owner and managing director of Real 3D printing. Coyote presented alongside his production assistant, Chris Tanner, who I think is also here today, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, thank you everyone who is here with us today and on behalf of Boost Investing Lucia, all the other sponsors, congratulations to our top three finalists. I just want to note that nobody leaves here a loser today because our seven finalists did experience a very informative and like I said, a rigorous business development program where they left with a lot of lessons and connections. They are connected to mentors and people who are in the business arena to assist them in having their business be a full-fledged success. Okay, um, one of the prizes for the three winners is um, access to the Entrepreneurship World Cup. Um, I think they got fast track registration. Um, we have Michelle Samuel here with us today via Zoom. She can, she will be presenting, giving us a few words about what the competition is about and how the three winners will move on to this next step. Everybody, hear me? Yes. yes, yes, we can. Okay, well, hello, good morning to everybody, and um, I just want to say a very big congratulations to everybody who participated in the National Idea Pitch Competition. As um, Ms. McDowell said, everybody here is a winner because you are participating in a competition to take your business, your idea to the next level. Some of you have already been impacting the community as I have heard in the, the national finals. So congratulations to all of you. And to the top five persons, um, you are all getting fast track access to the Entrepreneurship World Cup St. Lucia Le competition as was announced um, uh, a few minutes ago. So the Entrepreneurship World Cup competition is the biggest pitch competition in the world. It is hosted globally by the Global Entrepreneurship Network out of Washington, D.C. in collaboration with the MISC Global Forum from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, and the TGLF. So the three organizations together created this competition, which is now in its third year. And last year, we saw Mr. Gillen Avril emerging as winner of that competition. And now we are looking at the possibility of wonderful ideas such as what I saw here to enter this competition and to represent St. Lucia on a global stage. So for the first two persons, the very first and second place winners, you will be getting fast track access to Entrepreneurship World Cup St. Lucia. That means you go straight to pitching at the finals. So you will bypass all our processes and then pitch along with our other selectees to pitch at the national finals. And the third and fourth um, place winner and fifth place winner, third, fourth and fifth place winners, you will get fast track access to the preliminary competition. So I just want to say congratulations to you. EWC takes place in the month of July. That is the 5th to the 9th of July. It's a five day summit. And I'm really excited to see how you fare against all of the other competitors um, in this particular um, competition. I just want to say that this is an opportunity to take your idea and take your business to the next stage. The National Idea Competition brought it out and now you have to bring your A game at EWC SLU. And uh, I just want to say thank you again to Invest in Lucia and Boost by extension for allowing us to partner with them and to create this incentive for the participants. Congratulations to all of you. You all were amazing. And I cannot wait to, um, to see you all on this global stage um, this coming July. But you must all apply. Even those persons who did not place in the top three, I urge you all to apply to the EWC. And you never know what you did not receive here, you may receive um, at EWC. You will get access to uh, mentorship, you'll get access to tools and resources from our global partners. And what are you competing for on the global stage? 
over a million dollars US worth of cash and prizes. That is what awaits you at EWC. And I just want to say congratulations once again and looking forward to seeing more of you. So I am the country director for Entrepreneurship World Cup St. Lucia and also the founder and president of Santerra, proud partner of the NIPC. Thank you again. Thank you, Michelle. Um, so this presentation was not just for our finalists. We hope that all the entrepreneurs watching via Zoom, um, via Facebook, on NTN also take note of this competition, which is coming up in July. Before we leave, let me just mention our task force members for Boost, Invest St. Lucia, of course, Export St. Lucia, the Small Business Development Center, the St. Lucia Development Bank, the St. Lucia Manufacturers Association, the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, the St. Lucia Coalition of Service Industries, and our other partners include the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, the St. Lucia Bureau of Standards, the Southern Business Association, the St. Lucia National Youth Council, and the Performance Management and Delivery Unit. And now, of course, UNDP. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you everyone who is here with us. Congratulations once again to our winners and we hope to see you in the next round of the National Idea Pitch Competition. Thank you.